Hey, what's going on guys? 3G Racing here, and today I'm going to be trying to fix these coilovers. Y'all remember from the last video how annoying they were with the creaking and croaking and all that popping and binding in the springs, so today I'm going to be trying to fix that, so let's get right into the video. To start, I'm going to show you guys what the noise was for those who didn't see the last video, so... Alright guys, so we're in the car getting ready to drive now and you'll all be able to hear this noise. It is the most annoying thing ever. It's about, it's just like popping and like grinding and stuff. So here, here we go. Yeah, see that right there. It only really happens when you're going slower, but it is annoying, let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah, so these are those three bolts I'm talking about. And this one right here, here, and here. Just gotta take those off. And then the pillar ball mounts right underneath this orange piece here. So I have to get to that and grease underneath there. And hopefully it solves our problem. Alright, guys, so it's now the next morning. Um, I've been taking out these things here. They're really tight in my car, so let's do that off camera. But yeah, so pretty much I'm just going to take these bolts out here. So then this can just move around and I'm going to try to grease this top pillow ball mount under there while I move the coil over and see if that helps at all. So here we go. Alright guys, so I got these bolts out here. Now just come, we have a little bit of movement here. You can see in the top pillow ball mount there. But in order to get maximum movement, I'm going to try to take this bolt out here and this one up here. And then we're going to go grease the top. So making progress. All right guys, so then when you're taking off this bolt here, just make sure you have a nice 15 millimeter wrench you can stick behind it. And then, so you can get this bolt off because if you don't have this back here, this is just gonna keep spinning and you're pretty much just gonna get nowhere. So, yeah. All right guys, so I just got cool liver number one out. Just have it sitting over here for right now. I'm gonna go do the other side and then we're gonna try to take them apart and grease them. All right guys, so both coil levers are now out. This side is a lot quicker than the other side, obviously, but both got them right here. Now I just gotta take them apart, grease them up, put them back in, and we'll see if the noise goes away. All right guys, so next up I'm gonna be taking apart the coil levers. Got them out of the car. Just gotta take out this top bolt here, and then we're gonna grease um, underneath here, all up in there, and right under here. I got a picture sent by Max Speeding Rods and what's a grease. I did contact them about it and they just told me what's a grease. So here we go. It's really not a hard job too guys. Just want to point that out. And if it does work and the coilers don't make any noise after this, I will take back what I said. And the $300 will be well worth it rather than spending $900 on some D2s. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have one coil over taken apart over here. Just had to take off the camber plate here, take off this top nut here first. And then pretty much just going to grease all of this stuff down. Try to get rid of that noise. And then we'll do this one as well. So here we go. Alright guys, so I finished greasing up the coil overs. As you can see here, I got inside this little... Uh, pillow ball mount right in there the joint I got all up in there like uh, up in there um this little piece here the noise um reduction so yeah I got just about everything they told me to now I'm gonna put them back in the car I already started putting this one back in over here and we're gonna see how it goes
All right, what's going on, guys? I just uh, finished putting them together. Oh, um, I am, I did lose a bolt here. I have to find that before I fix everything completely, but just give me a second and we'll check out, see if it works. So I'll see y'all soon. All right, guys, so I just got the wheels on, ready to jack the car down and we will see if it worked. Also, I found the bolt, so we're all good. All right, see y'all in a bit. All right, guys. So the car's down. Now it's just time to see if it uh if it worked. All right, guys. So test driving it now. It looks like it works. Um, we'll go up through this turn up here. Just to double check, but I didn't hear anything pulling out of the driveway. So we'll see. It might be in the clear here. I hear a little bit of creaking. All right, it still does it a little bit, but it's nothing compared to what it was before. Yeah, very, very, very little bit. So I would say mission successful. It also could go away once the uh, grease like soaks in, I guess you could say a little bit more. So let's hope this does the trick for at least like six or so months. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that'll do it for today's video then. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I could help somebody out. Um, I know I'm not the only one who had those problems. I got a lot of comments saying this is how I could fix it. So I figured I could make a uh, video about it for you guys. And anyway, thank you and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next video.